Hi, can you hear me? Yeah. Emily, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. It's such an honor to talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Where Where are you from? Where are you right now? Melbourne, Australia. Right on. Oh, what time is it for you? It is um, about nine o'clock in the morning. Uh oh. Well, thanks for getting up for me. Yeah. So it's still quite a civil time for me, which is good. It's not like three in the morning. Yeah. You've been in so many cool shows. I love it. And um, seen. The Mandalorian, and that was really cool. Seeing was an armor, and I need to know how Supernatural finishes because it's. Uh... <laughs> You're gonna have to wait and watch it because I'm not giving that away. <laughs> yeah, like it's really cool to see a show that has rules because then, and you see those rules come back, and you get to see them, you know, moved in particular ways, and it makes it kind of real in a way. Yeah, it's that's a really really good observation. I mean, the rules are insane, but there are rules. Yeah. And then you get to see that it's like a, a board game. Like you don't want it to be random. You need there to be something that's consistent. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really cool. And I love how with Supernatural, you literally cannot guess uh, what's going to happen. Oh my gosh, there's no way. Yeah. It's almost I like... Mean, the... I, I definitely had no idea like going through season 11 that I would come back and suddenly be the good guy. I mean, I always felt like I was the good guy, but you know. Yeah. It does feel like they get the fan fiction and they say, if someone's thought of it, we're not using it. I wonder, yeah. But I feel like people think of everything, don't they? They think of a lot. And um, always going like, well, who's going to be the next most powerful person to fight? Um, mm -hmm. It's interesting that like there's like maybe just only one or two that they haven't brought in. And I don't know if there's like sensitivity stuff or something. But it's, it's interesting because it's kind of like a religion show, but not. Yeah. I really appreciate that it's like created its own mythology. And so even though it pulls figures that are familiar from different religions, it's not trying to say anything about any of the religions as we know them. Yeah, it's an adventure. And um, it's interesting, like, where you've then got, like, with the, the god and the god sister character, like, that there seems to be rules that are even higher than that, that they're both following. Yeah. Um, you're like, well, where does that come from? Um, and there's almost, like, some fogginess to it. It's like that, oh, that all happened so long ago that, like, you know, who knows kind of where it all came yeah. from. It was great to talk to you, Scott. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy the end of the show. <laughs> I shall. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye.